So right now you are looking at my 555 timer flyback transformer driver. Now, what is a flyback transformer, you're probably asking. Well, a flyback transformer is this thing. It is the transformer that is responsible for turning a low voltage into a very high voltage to drive CRT television tubes. Or at least that's the one type that we're using. This is from a CRT TV. These are very easy to identify. CRT TVs have them. You'll see the red wire, the black suction cup going back to the black transformer right here. Anyway, it takes a lot of patience to remove one of these. They're soldered in very well, very hard to get out. If you accidentally rip a pin out when you're trying to pull, the, pull it off of the circuit board, it's probably one of the important ones. So be sure to take your time, be patient, and the result should be worth it. On this heatsink is a large NPN transistor. That transistor there is driven by this circuit. This is a simple 555 timer flyback driver. Essentially what this does is create a high frequency waveform that turns the transistor on and off. This creates an AC voltage at the flyback, causing the transformer to operate. And powering everything is this. This is a linear power supply that I built. If you check out Basic Electronics episode 13, it will show you how to make a linear power supply. Now this is using the same design, only much, much larger. This is a 4 amp, 30 volt center tap transformer, and this has enough power to drive this. Ideally you would want to use a computer power supply and use the 12 volt rail, but mine melted down. So large 4 amp power supply. To operate this, I am running the driver circuit off of these, this tap, which is about 15 volts, and then the actual transformer is being driven on this tap, which is 30 volts. You could do the entire thing with 15 volts, you could probably do it with 12. It doesn't matter a whole lot, just make sure you have high current to drive the flyback. By far, the hardest part of this project is figuring out the pinout to your flyback transformer. You can try googling the part number, that probably won't work. Usually what I try to do is find two pins that have a really low resistance between them and try them. For whatever reason, with this flyback, actually flipping the leads, or flipping the polarity actually solved the problem that I was having, so you can try that. Try. You can try all sorts of stuff. Basically, you experiment for a long time trying to figure out the pinout, and the rest of it is very simple. Now the driver that I built is quite simple, but I modified it from several others that I have seen to make mine more usable. Mine has two adjustment potentiometers. You can try to get a duty cycle of 50% with the higher frequency. What I do is I turn it on, and you can probably hear that high-pitched sound. You can probably hear it now even better. I try to adjust that until I can't hear it. And then I come over here, I find the pin that I arc off of, and try it. See, as you can tell, I'm not getting a very big arc. So then I adjust. See, that's getting... See? Much bigger arc. And once you get everything fine-tuned, you should be getting pretty decent-sized arcs, like I am. Every time when I'm done, I be sure to rake. With the high-voltage pin, I rake the entire thing just so it shorts out, gets rid of any possible charge that is in there, and then we're good. So right now this is safe, as long as no one plugs it back in. So driver circuit, very simple. Here is the schematic. There you have it, simple 555 timer flyback driver. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is very dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, don't try to do it. I already had a basic understanding of what was going on before I started, so 
Anyway, there you have it. 555 timer, flyback driver, very simple. And try to arc it and see 